I don't... I don't understand. I've been searching for that spider for years. Madam Web is the biggest cinematic turkey of the year, and it's just the latest in a long line of failures for Sony's own Marvel Universe. How does it compare to Sony's past failures? Join Screen Rant as we look at the Sony Marvelverse and its track record of disappointment. Madam Web is now one of Sony's biggest flops of all time. The film has now closed its box office run and is now out on streaming. The movie was meant to be a key piece of the ongoing Sony also ran Marvel Universe. A grandfathered Spider-Man contract means that Sony also has access to certain Marvel Comics characters. The film company has taken anyone even remotely related to Webhead and given them their own film. Venom is undoubtedly Sony's biggest success thus far, earning an impressive 850 56.1 million worldwide. This success only bolstered Sony's confidence. However, the follow-up Venom Let There Be Carnage fell short of the same goalpost at 506.9 million. That's still an impressive and profitable sum. However, it would be Sony's last so far. Morbius morbed all over cinema screens in 2022 and became one of the most memeable bad films in a long time. This didn't translate to financial success, however, as the movie only earned 100 167.5 million worldwide. However, all this pales in comparison to Madam Web. Sony's latest attempt to cash in on the Spider-Man IP is its biggest failure to date. Madam Web only earned a worldwide total of $100 million. Given the movie's reported $80 million budget and additional marketing costs, this is a massive financial embarrassment for Sony. Madam Web was also supposed to be the big stepping stone into Sony's attempt at a shared universe. However, it's highly unlikely likely that we see any of these characters again. Thanks for watching Screen Rant and stay tuned for more box office news.